Today, we're going to explore the most tragic comedy of our time, The Great Heritage Heist. It's like a heist movie, but instead of stealing diamonds, we've managed to lose our cultural identity while trying to borrow someone else's. Picture this. Centuries ago, our ancestors were chilling under a mango tree, sharing tales of great warriors and brave lions, while eating ugali and sipping on some refreshing kachumbari. Life was good, but then came the mzungu, foreigner, and suddenly we were introduced to a concept called eating salad. Yes, folks, they tried to convince us that mixing a few leaves and tomatoes was somehow superior to our beloved ugali. Can you imagine? Ugali is a whole meal, while salad is just a suggestion. Fast forward to today. We now have Americanized names that sound like they belong in a superhero movie. Meet my son, Captain Jaden McBurgers. Meanwhile, our rich Igbo, Luo, or Zulu names are tucked away like the last piece of cake at a family gathering. Nobody dares touch it. And let's talk about fashion. Remember when traditional attire was a source of pride? Now, you walk into a gathering and see a guy wearing pants that look like they've been painted on by a toddler. What's this? You ask. Oh, it's my designer skinny jeans. They were made in Milan. Milan? Where's the village tailor who used to make you the best kanga? Nowadays, it's like we've swapped our kanga for a designer tag that's as hard to pronounce as it is to find on the map. Then there's our love for the Western-style parties. Gone are the days of traditional dances and music. Now it's all about getting lit to music that sounds like a robot being attacked by a swarm of bees. Who needs a drum when you can have a DJ, they say. But let's be honest, the last time someone tried to do the Macarena at a wedding, we all ended up looking like a herd of confused goats. And what about the food? We've traded our sumptuous stews and grilled meat for something called fusion cuisine. Seriously, who thought it was a good idea to put a slice of avocado on top of everything? Here's your pizza, but with a sprinkle of sadness. Meanwhile, our traditional dishes are still trying to figure out where they went wrong in life. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, social media. It's like a new kind of colonization. We're scrolling through Instagram, wondering why our lives don't look like those perfectly curated feeds. Why isn't my house as clean as this influencer's? We lament, while our aunties remind us that the last time they cleaned, it was a full-on event with prayers, sacrifices, and a goat. So, how did we get here? We chased after Western culture like it was the last bus of the night, only to realize that we left behind our colorful matatus, the sweet scent of roasted maize, and the warmth of community. We need to remember, it's okay to blend cultures, but we should never forget where we came from. As we laugh at our misadventures, let's reclaim our heritage. Let's embrace our kanga-wearing, ugali-eating, drum-playing roots while still enjoying that occasional salad. After all, it's possible to enjoy the best of both worlds, like a plate of pilau served alongside a burger, because who says we can't have it all? So the next time you're tempted to forsake your roots for the latest Western trend, just remember, while they may have the latest fashion, we've got the best stories, the tastiest food, and the loudest laughter. And that, my friends, is what makes us truly rich. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's dance like no one's watching, preferably to some good old African beats. Written by Reg Mutira for Geo Africa. Follow him at Reg Mutira. Follow us, Geo Africa, across all platform to access more. 